The Divine Relic is a great charm. Yeah, I know, I know, I said before that it was, um, it wasn't so great. But also, that was after I said that it was kind of good, because of the reasons why it was also bad. It's going to make sense in a moment. The Divine Relic is composed of four charms. Coffee, Smoke Bomb, Hard Ring, and Western. And I think we could all agree that before the DLC, the meta was actually running Smoke Bomb. Even I was, either I was using Smoke Bomb or I was using Coffee. So that was just my style, that was just my build. And today, it hasn't changed much, even after the DLC. Yes, I use Chalice a lot now, but also when I don't use Chalice and I want to play as Cupman, Cuphead or McMahon, I still use Smoke Bomb. And I wanted, I really wanted to try to make the Divine Predict work. And I'm here to tell you that it is a great charm. But the, it still has those, <laughs> those issues, but more on the positive and less on the negative today. One thing which is undeniable when it comes to the Divine Relic is that it is the best charm you can use in those airplanes level. Because you keep all those benefits, which also includes the weapon switching, but, but, Hear me out, the weapon switching is not that big of a deal, it's actually not bad at all. It feels like you're not even using the Divine Relic because guess what, you get to choose only between two weapons. Either you use the bombs or you use your bullets. And sometimes I find myself actually preferring you know, switching by just you know, tapping the shoot button as opposed to using an entirely different button. I, just, I can just relax and press just one button, I feel like it's kinda nice. But again, you keep all those benefits, you keep all those, you know, smoke bomb, hot ring, and well, I, 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 really, I, I really don't see any downside to using the Divine Relic in airplane levels. It's just, it is just awesome, right? So yeah, that makes it the best charm for airplane levels. And I'll say, if before you were struggling on Cuphead, even on the, I'm talking about the previous you know, the previous bosses, when it comes to the devil, king dies, you know, what it wobbles, oh, <laughs> the dragon. I, I'm, I'm confidently, I'm confident in the fact that the divine relic is going to help you defeat those bosses and you're not even going to break a, break a sweat. Yeah, it's going to be somehow challenging, but I think the most, the trickiest thing about using the divine relic is making those S rank, you know, those, um, it's actually scoring the max rank. Mostly because of time. Time is very important when you want to get to S rank. And in my case, for example, I figured that everything, all that time I spent switching weapons is actually a bad thing because I end up losing time. But that's, that's about the one thing I'll say which is keeping this charm to be like the good. And I know some people will come and say, Listen, I was able to get S rank using the Divine Relic, so it's great. Listen, that's the thing, I'm not saying it's impossible to get, like, people get confused sometimes, or maybe they, don't, they just don't listen. I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm saying time will always be something you may struggle with because of the weapon switching. The weapon, you know, the, the weapon switching mechanism is actually great. It's great because it, it allows you to adapt to every kind of situation. If the boss is very far and you switch and you get, for example, spread, good for you. You get to actually be, make big damage to the boss while he's very close. And if the boss is, I mean, you know, he's jumping around and lots of things happening on the screen, guess what? You can use, you can use um, crack shot and be able to dodge all those things, all those projectiles while still, you know, hitting the, the boss. I'll say the one weapon which struggles a lot, like a lot with the Divine Relic is, is charged. Because yes, as soon as you shoot, the weapon is gone. So, well, <laughs> yeah, it's gone. But other than that, I'll say, being able to switch between weapons is actually very good because sometimes you may actually end up using a weapon you wouldn't normally use and you might find that, you know, it actually works. It's not that bad. That's the thing. It's not that bad. And again, I played on regular and I played on expert. I'll say the areas where I struggled the most was mostly expert because lots of things happening and 
time again time is always um something to keep in mind but honestly whether it comes whether even the devil like if it's on if it is on regular i have no doubt that the divine relic is going to make it so that you don't struggle like, anymore like i i how i really 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 hardly believe you will struggle using the divine relic because again he has all those previous um all those previous charms which are which were already godlike and i i feel like some people are sleeping on hurt ring but right now i feel like hurt ring is somewhere up there to be one of the best one of the best charms in the game and something very broken the most broken thing about hurt ring is that you know when you use your crack shot that x move which makes it so that you have that turret which comes and shoots things for you every time you bury that turret guess what it counts as a berry towards her ring and yeah you get hp that's the most broken thing i've like see people people say they couldn't make an overpowered charm but i'm like i look at her ring and i'm like you are able to give yourself listen you are able to give yourself health that's kind of broken and because the divine relic also comes equipped with you know hurt ring guess what you know i there's some math be involved behind but automatically it automatically makes the divine relic kind of broken but the problem is guess what you only you 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 have to have crack shot equipped when you're switching so that's that's the downside but if you get crack shot while using the divine relic guess what you parry those turrets you get some hp back <laughs> that's um that's kind of sweet it is very sweet even something like western like western is not useless you just you just have to play aggressively to make some value out of western but trust me western is not is far from being useless but i would have wished again i would have wished they would combine western and peace sugar because even peace sugar that's that's the thing listen you can't you take the most ridiculous charm in the game and i'll say it's probably you know the additional hurt charm or peace sugar in the right hands those things can be lethal but it doesn't mean that those things are great it just means that there's there's, there's some getting used to and the same applies to smoke bomb the divine relic it's all about you know getting used to those things and as far as i'm concerned the divine relic is not entirely bad actually it's very far from bad if i was to read it like i say one out of ten i'll say it's a 7.5 actually maybe some days on eight obviously mishadis is like a 25 right? <laughs> shut up <laughs> but yeah the divine relic is actually good and again if you are just casually playing trust me it's never going to deceive you but as long as you don't try to be fancy or try to go for something very challenging and even then even then that's I, I feel like this is part of the challenge not knowing what comes next and that's one thing i can never take you know i, I can never hold against the divine relic is that every single fight feels different even if you replay the same boss because you don't know what's going to happen what the weapon is going to get you tend to play differently every single time as opposed to having your loadout and just play the same way because you already know it's optimal the divine relic kind of makes you get cre it, it kind of it kind of rewards you for being creative by just being random and that is i'll say fun right the divine relic is fun it's challenging to lose to use it is it, 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 it rewards you for being you know patient and yeah so it's not that bad don't listen i mean still listen it's not like the most amazing thing in the world like i stand by what i said but also i have to you know i have to be honest it's not as bad as i make it look especially because again it's the best thing you can use for airplane levels i think i've covered it all but also unlocking you know unlocking the divine relic was actually the, f the funniest part i loved playing with the curse relic and having just one hp and trying to think of things out i wish we could still keep the charm the curse relic and the divine relic and still choose to make it more challenging whenever we wanted to but that's not the case and that's unfortunate but for the time being don't sleep on the divine relic thank you guys for watching and 
Bye-bye.